two and ten. Two and ten, guys. Come on. I don't even know what to say anymore. I, I, I think we're done. I think, I don't want to say it, but like, I think it's time to blow it up. I think, yeah, boom, time to blow up the team. We don't need this anymore as Laker Nation. We have only one against the Pelicans, which you won in a final overtime. If Matt Vine didn't hit that crazy jump in three, we wouldn't have won that. And then we beat the Nuggets in decent fashion. I'll take that. But then we followed up up. We're getting destroyed by the by the Jazz by 15 points. Then they, then they beat us again a couple days later with more points, 139 to 116. And we lost to the Clippers Wednesday, and then we lost to the Kings yesterday. I don't, I don't, I'm just tired of it. I'm tired of it. I, I'm more, I would be more happy on us losing this much if we're rebuilding like the Jazz. Even, and even the Jazz are doing, oh my, I don't even know what to say. Even the Jazz are doing better than us. I don't even know, like, there's no point. There's no point. Because it's the fact that we are trying to be contenders when we're not contenders. And obviously, as a, like, we all know, as, like, as Lakers, a Lakers fan, we understand right now. We are, we are in a messed up position. We don't have picks until like 2027. We're in 2022, about to be 2023. So we got like, and like LeBron, obviously he's declining now because he's old and there's nothing wrong with that. He's still like a top 10 player in the league. But like Anthony Davis, injury prone. Russell Westbrook, probably the only thing good about us right now. But like, we're not re-signing him after this season. So... We are not in luck. We are not in luck. We, and we just have a lot of young players or like veterans that are just not hitting the points that we were hoping they would hit. And it's just it's just unlucky, honestly, honestly. Like, cause uh, I got into basketball again last last season, so like I didn't understand. I thought I didn't realize how Russ degraded. Cause I remember when Russ was, you know, boom, boom, dunking like crazy, and I was like. I was like, I was watching the game at that time, and then I turned it off for a couple years, and I came back, and when I saw the trade, I'm like, oh, shoot, this is about to be good for us. How, how wrong I was. How wrong I was. What a mistake I made by saying that. Because I was not even close. I was, we were not, we were not that guy. We were not that guy. But at this point, yeah, I think it's trade, LeBron, uh, AD, uh, Russ, actually, just, honestly, it wouldn't even be bad to just keep Russ, honestly, if we don't have to, we don't have to give away picks, because we want to gain picks, obviously, like, right now, I'm fighting for us to get a plan at this point, like, yeah, it's that bad, like, a plan is real, like, that's, a, that's hard to imagine right now, as a Laker, which is crazy, because, uh, I mean, what, what, are, what are we actually understand? we're 14, we're 14, only us and the Rockets have, have, we have the same amount of wins as the Rockets, the worst team in the league. The actual worst team in the league. The Hornets, the Pistons, and Magic have more wins than us. That's crazy. That's crazy. Nah, I, that's, that's, that's a little unacceptable. But, yeah, I don't know. I don't know. What's, I mean, here's another Laker video. Just sad time. I hope you all like my hair. I got my friend to do it. appreciate her. But, if not... Ciao. In a bit.